So next we're going to discuss the second of the two major chronic skin conditions that oral erythromycin can be used to treat, and that is rosacea. Now, rosacea is another extremely common skin condition. However, it's much less famous than acne. Most people know what acne is and they can diagnose it. So normally an ordinary person can go to the supermarket, they can see someone with acne and they know immediately what that person has got wrong with them. Rosacea, on the other hand, is a condition that most people don't know what it is and wouldn't be able to diagnose someone with in the supermarket. However, it is a very common skin condition and once you know what it is, if you go to the supermarket, you will see people with this condition, especially if you live in a country with a lot of Caucasian people because it's particularly common and also particularly obvious in Caucasian people. So rosacea is a skin condition of the face and it is a skin condition that causes the skin of the face to be red all the time. So if you go to the supermarket, you will see individuals who have very red faces and it is likely that the skin condition that is causing that is rosacea. So next time you go to the supermarket and you do see these individuals with red faces, you can be thinking to yourself, I probably know the name for that skin condition. It is probably rosacea. Now there are other skin conditions apart from rosacea that cause people to have a red face. One of the key differentials would be a condition called KPRF, which stands for keratosis pilaris rubra facii. Now this is a form of keratosis pilaris, which is another disorder of the hair follicles. And it's a disorder where the skin at the boundaries of the hair follicles overgrows and seals up the hair follicles. So I'll just draw a picture of this. So here is a picture of the skin again. So we have our epidermis, the dermis below, and we have a hair follicle here. So in people with keratosis pilaris, what happens is the skin, the epidermis here overgrows. And if you imagine this bulging out like this, and then the same thing happening on this side, and actually the two opposing sides here of the hair follicle, the two opposing boundaries, they come close together and actually seal over the hair follicles. You actually get the epidermis growing over the hair follicle and sealing it up. That's what happens in individuals with keratosis pilaris. Now, what can then happen is these hair follicles that are plugged up by the epidermis, they can also become inflamed and you can get little red bumps. And in keratosis pilaris rubra facii, what happens is this process occurs on the hair follicles on the cheeks of the face. So you get loads of little, tiny little red bumps on the cheeks of the face. And because the hair follicles are so close to one another, these little red bumps look confluent. So it looks as though it's just one confluent area of redness. So if you don't know what this condition is, Google it, look at the pictures, and also look at the pictures of rosacea and compare and contrast them. They look very different and actually, the way I would describe the appearance of rosacea is it looks as though the individual is sunburnt all the time, although they're not sunburnt. So obviously if an individual has just got too much sun and they are sunburnt, then the diagnosis for their red face is that they've got sunburn. However, in individuals with rosacea, they look as though they are sunburnt all the time, but they haven't been out in the sun, they're not sunburnt. That's how you can uh, really tell this condition apart from other conditions that cause facial redness. If you look at the pictures on the internet of what keratosis pilaris rubra facii looks like, it doesn't look like the individuals are sunburnt. It looks very different. The redness is limited to the cheek area. The nose and the skin around the mouth are spared. They're normally a no normal skin colour. The skin of the forehead is normally spared as well. So these individuals with KPRF, they usually just have very red looking cheeks. And if you look in detail at what the cause of this redness is, you'll see that it's got that they've got loads of tiny little red bumps on their cheeks. And by the way, these inflamed red bumps, these inflamed red hair follicles in KPRF, they're much smaller areas of inflammation than you get in acne. So the little red bumps that are the inflamed hair follicles, it's much smaller amount of inflammation compared to a great big spot of acne. Uh, so that's why when you look for, without looking in detail, it doesn't even look as though the bumps are there. It looks as though they've just got red cheeks. But actually when you look in detail, you see that it's loads of little red bumps. So it looks very different to rosacea where 
actually the nose and the skin around the mouth are usually often the worst affected parts of by the redness, uh, which is more classic of sunburn because again, in sunburn, usually the nose is the worst affected area because it's the bit that isn't protected by the hair as much. It's the bit that sticks out and is most at risk of getting zapped by the sun's rays. Now, unlike acne and keratosis pilaris rubrofacei, where what is going wrong is reasonably understood, rosacea, we still don't really have a clue why individuals have this. So when these people have these red faces, which is rosacea, we don't understand why it's happened. Scientists still aren't there. We don't know why it occurs. However, even though we don't know what causes rosacea, we do know that oral antibiotics are effective at treating it. Again, like in acne, erythromycin wouldn't be the first line treatment for rosacea. Instead, you would start off with a tetracycline antibiotic. Again, often lime cycline. So you take lime cycline once a day for months, potentially even years uh, to treat this facial redness. If that doesn't work, then it can be changed to erythromycin, 500 milligrams twice daily, again, which can be taken for months to potentially years. And oral antibiotics usually are effective at reducing, if not getting rid of the redness of rosacea. Sometimes they won't be effective. Some individuals will take them and won't get any improvement whatsoever, but other individuals will take them and it will improve. And because of the fact that oral antibiotics are effective, many people suspect that rosacea may be some sort of infection that we don't yet understand within the skin. So overall, to summarise this discussion, when you see an individual who is affected by a chronically red face and the redness is in the pattern of sunburn, if that individual isn't sunburnt, then the diagnosis is a likely rosacea. This is a skin condition that is not well understood at all. We don't understand why these individuals have this chronic facial redness. However, what we do know is that it can effectively be treated with antibiotic in many cases, and erythromycin is one of the antibiotics that can be used to treat it. Again, it would not be the first line treatment. Tetracyclines would be the first line treatment, and then if those don't work, then uh, it would be erythromycin. And actually, even before tetracyclines, again, you often would try topical antibiotics first. And then if those don't work, go on to oral antibiotics. So we'll end the video there. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something. And I do suggest that if you aren't familiar with what these skin conditions are, do look up pictures of what they look like on Google. This one looks very different to this one. This one is usually considered quite an attractive skin condition as skin conditions go because it gives people that flush cheek healthy look, um, which people often seek by putting makeup on their cheeks. Whereas this one is considered less attractive because it gives you a red nose and it makes you look as though you're sunburnt all the time. So they do look very different. So do look up pictures of what they look like and contrast them and you'll see that most people that you see with a red face, especially the older people with a red face, it's going to be this one rather than this one.